I, I think I think I speak for many of us when I say fuck this year. Yeah. And yeah, not, I could not possibly be happier that this year is and not about to get put in the dirt. Not the, you know, taken out for a nice meal, out for a movie, then back to her place kind of nice, yeah. happy fucky. This is fuck this year with like a rusty chainsaw. Cause yeah. Jesus. This year could go right to hell. Right the fuck to hell. But, you know, it's just, I we say things like that, and it's just a challenge to see how much worse next year can be. Uh, you know, <laughs> I've kind of given up the optimism that next year is going to be awesome. <laughs> but it never is. <laughs> apart from all-out, uh, like, nuclear war... I don't know that next year could be a lot worse. Shh, stop. That is test woman. You are tempting fate like a motherfucker right now. Like unless the aliens actually fucking land. I don't know. Um, this has been a pretty shit year. Three words. Senator Shia LaBeouf. Is he running for the Senate? I don't know, but you asked how it could get fucking worse. That is something that could fucking happen. You know this country. That could fucking happen. I don't think it could. Even after three plus years of doing this pit, I maintain some faith in humanity. And I don't think we're going there. Well, that's where I, you and I differ. Because I, it's, that is, that shit is fucking plausible. Well, I know that's. Why I'm heavily medicated. <laughs> All right, let's let's get to our last. What the fuck is wrong with you? Of 2013, and I got to tell you the, the the top story tonight. The last one is it's special. It's if I know the one you're talking about, then yes, yes the one that everybody sent me, the one that probably everybody sent you. Oh, yeah. And I actually happened upon it on my own and somehow knew that it would make it to the show. I had a weird feeling. But we've got plenty before that. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's it's going to be kind of special all around. Let's let's get started. Each week, Catherine goes out worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And... Oh my, t t it just, it. Crazy. <sighs> I'm crazy for you know, it comes back to the old classics sometimes when, when just, it's, it's as simple as naked and crazy. And, you know, it, it's kind of, it's almost gotten kind of heartwarming at this point in a bizarre kind of way. When, when we can come back to the little simple things in life. Are we calling those the little simple things in life? Are we at that point? I think we are. This one comes from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville PD. Man runs through bingo hall with pants down. Screams bingo. Oh my God. You do not fuck with the bingo. <laughs> no, I know this from experience. Oh. I would fuck with the goddamn Gambino crime <laughs> And fuck with the bingo bitches. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You do not fuck with the bingo bitches. That is that is danger untold. A Louisville is not simply walk into the bingo hall. Even with your pants down. Louisville man was charged after police said he was drunk and in it when he inappropriately disrupted a bingo game. Is there an appropriate way to disrupt a bingo game? Uh, according to police, Dahara Waters was arrested at the bingo hall uh, Thursday evening. Police said he was running through the bingo hall with his pants down, screaming bingo. That action, according to police, caused alarm to patrons and employees. I'm kind of surprised he survived. I know, man. You do not fuck with the bingo bitches. I'm surprised he didn't get beaten to death with a purse. It would be like those, you know, the fast zombies from the Dawn of the Dead remake. Only it's blue haired ladies that because back in, my, back in my baton twirling days, one of the things we had to do for fundraising was work these bingo nights that the twirling company sponsored. 
and your parent had to work. So my poor father had to go out and work bingo once a month to support my baton twirling habit. But for whatever reason, I wound up taking his place one day and they had me, the guy was calling the numbers and they had me literally, this was my job to take the ball out of the machine and hand it to the caller. That was my job to do this and then this. And I had these bitches were screaming with rage because I didn't I wasn't old enough to be doing that. And I didn't know how to properly operate that machine. And I wasn't trained. And I'm like, I barely even have to move my elbow. Like literally a monkey in a job, could, a, a diaper could do this job. You do not mess with the bingo bitches. They will get, and they show up with like their 70 lucky charms with like 42 troll dolls and the severed foot of their ex-husband and all kinds of weird fucking totems and shit. And they have 72 cards that they're tracking at any given time. And it, this is like you put up the hell's angels versus the bingo bitches I'm hard pressed to take a bet because I don't think anybody's walking out a lot. I'm I'm curious. To, did was there like did what, were chunks of his flesh torn away and dentured? Did, could you really see how strong that denture grip is? Because you know you gotta think. You yeah. gotta think he had a few sets of dentures permanently embedded in his flesh, and <laughs> will have some permanent corner of a purse shaped scars. I got to say, this is probably one of the most creative suicide attempts I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah. They do not fuck around at the bingo hall, man. <laughs> you know where else they don't fuck around? The police station. This one comes from... I'd be more scared of the bingo <laughs> hall. The police technically aren't allowed to kill you. Well, there if, are no such rules in a bingo hall. If they're the real police, they're not allowed to kill you. But but what happens when they're not the real police? This one, of course, comes from Florida, like as you would expect. And this is serendipity of the highest order. Manatee man impersonating police stops Tampa officer. Manatee man? Yeah, man. Is that like a new terrible superhero? No, it's a county in Florida. Manatee County, Florida. Oh, okay. I'm, th I'm like, Manatee? That's the worst fucking DC <laughs> character ever. Because you know it would be DC. Marvel would not have a character that ridiculous. No. Uh, Although now I kind of want to write the Manatee Man comic. What are his powers? Flotation. Super powered blowholing. Being endangered species. Tampa police. He defends the de endangered species. Well, no, not this guy. Tampa police late Sunday arrested a Manatee County man, accused him of using red and blue flashing lights in his Chevrolet Tahoe to stop a Tampa officer to alert the officer of a reckless driver in Ybor City. Jonathan Charles Stevens, 24, was charged with impersonating a police officer, unlawful use of blue lights, and carrying a concealed firearm. It is the second time in three months... Stevens has been charged with impersonating a police officer. Stevens is in his uh, 2009 Tahoe, which is equipped with red and blue lights, and tried to pull over a Tampa officer near the uh, uh, 10 p.m. Sunday near Ybor City. He told the officer he wanted to report a reckless driver and said he was a Department of Homeland Security officer. Stevens said he had a Glock 45 caliber handgun and wore a badge around his neck. Just before this motherfucker on. pulled over a cop? He pulled over a cop. You're going to get caught. Yes. The officer found the vehicle was not a police or emergency vehicle, did not belong to a government agency. Stevens later admitted he was not a law enforce enf enforcement officer and he does not have a concealed weapons permit. You know, I was always taught that uh. if there's only one color light, it pretty much goes yellow lights are tow truck and rescue right, vehicle. Right. Red lights are police or ambulance. Blue lights are fire department. So blue lights are fire are, department. Yeah. It's red lights are fire department. Blue lights are police. No, not if it's just one. Oh, if it's just one bulb. 
So I would never pull over for a fucking blue light. Well, this think this guy had red. To get out of their way. This guy had red and blue lights. So oh, he had yeah. both of them. Yes, he was in three D. When I was at Spencer's, we weren't allowed to sell both for that very uh, reason. Because there was a thing a few years back that people were in, impersonating cops and unmarked cars and raping women on the side of abandoned roads too. Like you, you can't even pull over for the cops anymore. I I just it, what was okay. What was the plan? That is yeah. the question I ask so often. But here, step one: impersonate a police officer. And step then pull over a pull over a cop. The balls are you. Were you hoping he'd offer you a job? Be like, hey, great job pulling me over. I've got an application right here in the back seat next to the cuff. You remember Bat Kid? That whole that whole thing with the Make a Wish Foundation, Bat Kid? Yeah. When you're five years old and you pretend to be a crime fighter, it's cute. When you're 24 and pretend to be a crime fighter. It's a felony. Comic Con. Mm. Mm. They're actually, they've said that since the Bat Kid thing, Make a Wish is getting like increasingly elaborate requests. Oh, no. From kids. Because it used to be like the budget for a wish was like $5,000. They pulled off this Bat Kid thing and they kind of can't say that anymore because. The entire city of San Francisco got involved. So they're getting like increasingly elaborate wishes and they're trying to figure out how to keep up with it because they don't want to say no to kids, but it's going to get pretty complex. Well, I, I don't think this would this, this is not. I don't think this qualifies. No, I don't think the Make-A-Wish Foundation was involved in this. One. No. no. Although I, I do think he's probably wishing for a good lawyer right now. Probably. So, um, everyone who's ever been in a relationship, there, there are always some settling you have to do in a relationship. You have to, to, to get to the other person's ebb and flow. You have to understand, you know, is holding hands in public cool or, you know, is taking someone else's arm or is PDA, you know, you have to, to get that kind of stuff down. Are and they're allowed to hump their leg or are they really straight laced and get upset by that? You know, but, you know, you. You tend to come to some sort of equilibrium on this. This one, I think. That they, they probably could have found a better way to sort this this difference of opinion out. Woman busted for attacking live in boyfriend when he refused to cuddle in bed. Oh. And again, Florida. Florida woman was arrested Saturday for battering her live-in boyfriend when he refused to cuddle with her when they went to bed. Shivana Rump, 31, and Henry Price, 33, had been drinking together at their residence and had been going throughout, doing so throughout the night. The couple subsequently quarreled. A deputy reported that over Henry refusing to cuddle with Shivana when they went to bed. The argument turned physical when Shivana grabbed Henry by the shirt, causing it to tear. Um, Price then attempted to leave to prevent any further argument, and Shivana didn't want him to leave. At one point during the ar argument, Shivana picked up a kitchen knife as if she was going to use it to hurt or stab Henry. Um, He's the, not going to cuddle with you if you stab him. No, because... Any, any Cosmo article will tell you. <laughs> that and it would be a little messy at that point, don't you think? You know, I didn't know you could file charges for this. This happens to me all the time. I, I, it, Tom usually goes to bed earlier than me. He has to go up at five. And I crawl into bed and all of a sudden this ginormous King Kong arm just sweeps over and like drags me across the bed. I'm not facing the white way. I get picked up and flipped <laughs> over and very much manhandled. Into <laughs> Crazy bed. kitty! Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and even like, like strongman grunts while he does it. He's like, arr, arr. and I, I don't get a choice in how I sleep because I'm just a human teddy bear 
And he's like, okay, you flip over and do this and, you know, <sighs> you know all right. But you, 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 you've never had to, to, to pull a knife in the situation. I've never wanted to pull a knife. No. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's being being little spoon isn't exactly a fate worse than death. So I've never felt the need to pull a knife. It's and I love the fact that you look at her picture there. She's just smiling. She's like, yeah, I showed him. There's always a, whatever you air in your mugshot and you're smiling. That said, that speaks volumes. <laughs> Hulk want cuddle. Yeah, it is kind of like that. <laughs> it kind of is like that. Hulk want spoon. I, it's just. How would complaining? Very sweet. But, you know, I don't know about you, but normally when they pull a knife, it kind of ruins the mood. Yeah, I'm not cuddling with anybody who's got a knife. No, no. Not without a safe word. Well, OK, that that was. Taking things up a notch in, in rather innocuous circumstance. But again, Florida. Oh, my God. It's just a deluge of Florida tonight. It seems like the Florida thing's actually getting worse, doesn't it? I know. Like Florida getting on a hell mouth. I guess. <laughs> because it seems like since we started doing this, like we always joke about Florida, but I think it's actually getting worse. Like those sinkholes that keep randomly opening up, they're just giant portals to hell, and that shit's getting out. DA Scott, you spoon or I knife. Oof. I've never had him say that to me. <sighs> so this one, this is again one of those situations where escalating beyond what is called for and it's Florida and it's Walmart. So it's it's already it's this going to be magic. Um, let's see. Woman threatened to kill Walmart worker over price of skateboard. Are skateboards a thing again? I don't know. Because where I work, there's always kids skateboarding up and down the street. And I didn't know skateboards were a thing anymore. I thought that was over. I did too. But, but there's always kids skateboarding up and down the street. So I, I don't know. Is it a thing again? 45-year-old woman was arrested on allegations of threatening to kill a Walmart sales associate over the price of a skateboard. Maria Desmond? Desimini? Desmond? Um, I'm saying Des that all... Desimone? Desimone? Uh, Desimini? I'm, I don't know. Maria. Uh, was arrested during the incident, which occurred December 20th. According to police, the associate was assisting another customer when she approached her and was upset about the price of a skateboard. Maria then began cursing at the woman and swung the board as if she was going to hit her. The sales associate pointed her finger at Desimini, who then threatened to kill her. The associate called the manager, and Desimini went to her car and left the store. She was later arrested on battery charges. Okay, here's the thing. If you leave the store... It's not like it's over. It's not like you hit the reset button. It's like, okay, I'm gone. I'm home free. It's it's done home now. Base. <laughs> no, I call it home base. Home base and crime. There is no home base. I call home base. You can't get me. No. This is one of those situations where I really fucking miss the you break it, you bought it policy. Because <laughs> you hit somebody with a skateboard, that shit's going to crack. I... But We've become such a customer ass looking society that they wouldn't make you pay for that now. They just damage it out. And I think you should have to buy that fucking broken skateboard and put that under the Christmas tree and explain to your kid how it got that way. Uh, Maybe then you'd learn not to act like a fucking animal. Just over. OK, what is she? OK, what's this? It's not like they can change the price for you. It's not like let's make a deal. You can't order. It's what was what was it supposed and to do? I've gotten this too. People try to haggle. Like we had a woman when I worked at Sephora come to the store and be like, "Well, you know, the Perfumania sells this fragrance for thirty dollars less. So what are you going to do for me?" And we were like, "Give you directions to Perfumania." It's 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 not something they. This this is a person who works 
for minimum wage, who is by Walmart policy deliberately kept from working a full time job. So they're denied benefits. Scraping by day in and day out, not paid enough to put up with your shit. And here you are trying the threatening death upon this poor person. And the thing like, even if the thing people don't seem to understand is even if we wanted to help you out, we work for a giant faceless corporation. We couldn't if we wanted to. We don't want to because fuck you. But even if we did, we couldn't. We, we're not in charge of the prices. We have no say over that shit. Walmart and is if the... if we give you a deal, we get fired. So where's the incentive? Walmart is the epitome of the giant faceless corporation. Yeah. You know? I think they're actually... That's actually their tagline now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that happy face. Yeah. Yeah, that, that just says it all right there. I don't... <sighs> The fucking comedian's button is their goddamn logo. Uh, <laughs> Tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? That's actually, yeah. Um. Well, moving on to other issues of of uh, business and monies and stuff. So, are you familiar with Bitcoin? Vaguely. Um. What Bitcoin is, is it's a digital currency. Like, it looks like Super Mario coins, but apparently it's money. <laughs> yes, it's a digital currency that is encrypted and you can mine Bitcoins. Look at me I like a fucking yeah, like on one like of the news with World the of Warcraft air quotes. money. Kind of. Um, you can either buy Bitcoins or you, you can, can buy real things with it and not just yes. Epic accounts. Yes, because it's it's a. Uh, have a um, encrypted wallet. Well, um, someone got the idea to make a currency, a sub currency using the same algorithms and devices that create Bitcoin. Only they this freaks me out. Does this freak you out a little bit? Because like our real money isn't backed by any real money anymore. No. And that freaks me out enough. The fact that there is now just money that was never money. And now it was always just an imaginary concept. Like. I. Now I we have to understand how that works, but it freaks me out. Well, now we've gone past imaginary concept. And now we have money based on a meme. Dog coins, doggy coins. Much money, so scare. Um, millions of doge coins. Is it doge, dog? I don't know how to fucking say it. Currency based on a meme are reported stolen. Um, there's much sadness for some owners of doge coins, a digital currency that started out as a joke, but has now become a popular way to tip someone on the internet. They Hackers digitally rob 21 million doge coins, an amount whose reported value on virtual currency exchanges is between $14,900 and $17,200. But how is it worth anything? Because we say it is. But how, does it, how is it worth anything? Because we say it is. The currency was created earlier this month to poke fun at Bitcoin, a new form of currency that's been used to purchase products and services. But in recent weeks, the coin, based on a meme of a dog, has been used by some people for tipping online. It's now being traded and purchased, turning it into a Bitcoin-like currency. But on Christmas, numerous users were su surprised to find that their doge coins were missing from their doge wallet, a service with which users can keep their digital currency. Doge does wallet. Does this not sound like a children's game? Yes, it does! I mean, that sounds strangely like... Pokemon. I, all right. I love not only did this start as a joke, but became its own currency with value. Not only that, not only did people invest in it to the tune of thousands of dollars, but then they got ripped off for real money. This is like we're as a species sitting on the precipice of the giant volcano of our own fucking.
I mean, this is, this is fucked up. How did this, this is, this is like down the rabbit hole. Uh, you like, but the thing is, they've stolen nothing. We want to make sure ret users can retrieve their lost doggy coins. We'll just say they have them. That's how they got them in the first place, right? You can't steal something that doesn't even exist. <laughs> well, yeah, Terra them. on the same, by the same definition. It's not like it's backed by anything. Just our, our actual money does not really exist and isn't backed by anything. I know. And they just give that out all over the place. So <laughs> all you have to do is own a bank. And they'll just give you all the money you want. Uh, I don't know, I, man. I mean, you know, I studied art. <laughs> I had to retake seventh grade algebra in class, So clearly I am not an economist. So maybe I'm just making an ass of myself on the Internet. I don't know. Oh, I'd break your head. If I, if I started talking about the paper market, I would break your freaking head. But this weirds me out. Like... I just I'm like I'm a cash person. I live and die by my debit card. Like I'm not a Luddite, but I don't know. Well, in a in like internet memes are money now. How many grumpy cats is that worth? We're gonna, you know what? We're gonna have like denominations based yeah. on the popularity of the meme. Exactly. And that's how that's how that's how the, the value is gonna be determined. How popular the meme is at that particular point in time is how valuable the currency like is. Grumpy cat, David goes to the dentist, dog, <clears throat> Miley twerking, Michaela Maroney is unimpressed. Peter Capaldi eyes, yeah. 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 <sighs> well, from the department of couldn't have happened to a nicer company. Um, so uh, Starbucks has exploded around the world. It is everywhere. It is the definition of ubiquitous. It is the Starbucks across from the Starbucks. That's the end of the world. Thank you, Louis Black. So um, when stuff like this happens involving Starbucks, uh, I just I just got to got to smile a little bit, just a little deep in my soul. This comes to us from Hong Kong. Um, Starbucks toilet water coffee prompts anger in Hong Kong. A Starbucks cafe in Hong Kong's financial district that used water from a tap near a, urin a urinal to brew coffee has prompted a torrent of angry reactions from consumers. The coffee shop in the famous Bank of China Tower has been using the water from a tap in a lavatory to make beverages since its opening in October 2011. Images well, all right, it's not... It's fr from the toilet. It's, it's in the bathroom. The faucet. That's different. That's still OK. It's a bath. It's not like they're taking the coffee pot and scooping it in the toilet. But still, uh, the images from local newspaper App Apple Daily showed the tap of the sign that said, quote, Starbucks only a few feet away from a urinal in the dingy washroom, which the paper said was in the building's car park. Um, the water was collected less than five times a day by staff from a tap in a lavatory located near the shop. Starbucks told the AFP, adding that it was dedicated for collecting drinking water. There's no direct water supply to that particular store. That's why we need to obtain the drinking water from the nearest source in the building. You know well, that's what? That's the weird thing. Who the fuck builds a Starbucks without running water? Yes! I mean, it's not like it's a privately owned coffee shop that couldn't afford it. You're fucking Starbucks. Put in a line. Yeah, I mean, here... Here were the options. Okay, we can do two things. We can run a new pipe to the store. Okay. Or we can send an employee down to the bathroom by the car park that, you know, people pee in, sometimes on the floor, and get the water from there. I like this idea. The thing is, I've worked in a coffee shop, and you pretty much have... I don't, I don't even understand how this business model works, because you pretty much have water running all the time. You're using it to make drinks. You're using it to rinse pots. Like you're using it to clean the blender when you're done with it. Like you're pretty much always running a sink in a coffee shop. Yeah. So I don't even understand how they were able to run. 
<laughs> okay, bonus in the chat and channel says, This coffee tastes like shit! It is shit. Oh good, then it's not just me. <sighs> and Dimal makes the very important point here, Sometimes people pee in the sink! Okay? All right, let me let me take let me rephrase that. Sometimes men pee in the sink. Well, according to one of the related articles here, a quarter of men sit down on the loo so they can use their smartphone. It's right there in the related articles. Just it, you know, that's not a place. It, okay, if you're in a restaurant, you control the the preparation area. Meaning you're responsible for the cleaning and maintaining of a sanitary environment from which to get your, you know, raw materials, in this case, water. You don't, you know, sort of outsource that to a bathroom. Because you have no control over that. How they, did, how they built a Starbucks without running a water line. Because apparently they, this is what happened. I don't understand how that happens. Like how it happens is that no one anywhere ever has even the remote possibility of giving a shit. They are it is a constipated nation in terms of giving a shit. Just every no shits, none. It's it's all it's all cheese, man. It's all cheese, no shits. Like corks and cheese. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Our last story tonight is amazing. This is this is the proper way to end 2013. This is probably one of the best stories all year. And I don't have a good... We do like a yearly roundup show. We should. Like the top 10 stories of the year. That would take us forever to put together. I know, because we do I so... Yeah, the, yeah, and you know who'd have to edit the fucking thing? Huh? huh? Yeah, why did I say that? Why did you say that? <clears throat> this last one is... I, I don't even... I can't... I don't even need to give it any introduction because it's amazing. This comes to us from Salem, Oregon. Alleged masturbating man in Salem... Uh, arrested after taser proves ineffective. But wait, it gets better. And oh, it's it's Beaverton! It's Beaverton! It's Beaverton! It's like the Florida of the West Coast. A Beaverton man was arrested following a string of erratic outbursts that culminated in the subject allegedly masturbating in a Salem roadhouse. It took a taser and more than a dozen officers to finally subdue Andrew Frey inside Iggy's Bar and Grill. The 37-year-old man later told authorities he had used methamphetamines the day before and had no recollection of the wild, alleged wild behavior. The brouhaha... Wow, I've actually, a story that actually uses the word brouhaha. The brouhaha began around 1 p.m. when Sarah, Sheriff's deputies re started receiving reports of a man acting really, bizarrely. I think it was more of a brouhaha. Oh... The man, identified as Frey, had allegedly called the locksmith and later refused to pay the worker for his services. After allegedly stiffing the locksmith, Frey wandered over to Brooks Market and refused to leave. Employee in the market had to eventually escort the alleged suspect off the property, then made his way to East Bar and Grill. That's when Frey's behavior allegedly took a turn for the vulgar. Bartender told authorities Frey exposed his genitals and started masturbating at the bar. By the time... <laughs> By the time a Marion County deputy arrived at the scene, Frey had moved from the bar to the bathroom, but reportedly had not stopped pleasuring himself. Frey allegedly resisted arrest, forcing the deputies to tase the, zap the suspect with a taser multiple times. The taser had no effect on Frey, who allegedly started fighting the deputies. At least 15 police officers rushed to the bar, were eventually able to take the subject into custody. Just jerk to break focus. Jerking it the whole time. You can't break focus. I think the joke <sighs> I made on Twitter was um, Jason Bourne just hasn't been the same since Carl Urban killed his girlfriend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, come on. This guy's clearly like a super assassin who's really lonely. 15 guys. And his dick. 
Go away, Baton! He managed to beat 15 guys and his dick at the same time. Like, you gotta think, was that like punch, punch, pull? <laughs> that is... You can knock a dude out and have him pulling it for him while he's punching other dudes. You know, I have been very aroused in my lifetime, but I have never been that aroused that I could be in a fight with 15 guys. And Maybe that was just getting him more aroused. Maybe that was just doing it for him. Maybe. Jesus Christ. I mean, I don't want to the crap out of 15 guys. I get a charge out of it. <laughs> well, no, he got a charge out of the taser is what was giving him. But I love that the taser didn't do shit. No. That is some persistent masturbation. That's devotion to a cause. Oh. oh, okay. Lithium. 15 guys in a row. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Try oh. not to beat up any cops and jerk off on your way to the parking lot. Oh, my God. Okay. It doesn't work the same. It doesn't flow the same. Vega says, best superhero ever. I don't know. I don't think he holds a candle to Manatee Man. Nah, nah, nah. <sighs> I mean, what do you even call him? <laughs> okay, Big Jim Slade. The Aristocrats! <laughs> Mercenary Masturbation Man? Uh, if Deadpool is the Merc with the mouth, would this guy be the Merc with the Jerk? Fifteen guys, one dick. Nice. nice. I'm just nothing. I, the jerk, nothing. I thought that was pretty good. I'm just trying to to figure out how they were. You know, because if I was trying to take this guy down, I would be deliberately angling myself away from his dick. See, and that's probably the mistake they all made. You got to aim for it. <laughs> like this is where you got to think like a woman. And aim for the jewel. No, no, no. You got to think like a video game. Because in a video game, you always aim for the flashing big light thing. Well, that thing was probably pu you know, pulsing pretty hard. That's where you aim. You got to break his focus. Haven't right? you ever played R-Type? <laughs> and guys are so concerned with not wanting to look gay that they're like, I don't want to touch that dude's dick. Everyone will think I'm gay. You would have been a hero. You would have taken that motherfucker down. You know, it doesn't say if he got the taser in the dick. Which would be even more impressive, honestly. That would be really impressive aim. What would a taser do to a dick? Well, it normally makes the muscles expand and contract really fast and twitch around. And oh, my God. It's electrocution. It's also painful. Like, I got to think there's... That's like on the top three places you don't want to be tased. Well, actually, you know what they do to animals to, to for to get collect sperm for they they electrocute the prostate. Well, yes, but probably not with a taser. Like when I had physical therapy on my knee, they would hook up electrodes <clears throat> and shoot little electric charges into my knee to build the muscle. But it wasn't taser strength electricity. There's a difference. Well, if it builds muscle, this guy must have like, you know, a baby's arm down there now. <laughs> I'm just saying there's electrode oh. and electrode, you know, like this is how supervillains are born, people. <laughs> what they really needed, speaking of supervillains, was cock knocker. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, I, I guess I guess the first thing we learned to, tonight is. Don't come between a guy and his dick. Did we need to learn that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty much common knowledge. Oh, <laughs> uh, we Excuse me, I've tried and it did not end well. We learned tonight that if the coffee tastes a little off, it could be that they're getting the water from a bathroom. So just so you know, next time you go to Starbucks, keep that in mind. I mean, I don't know if that would be my first guess. We live in a country with the FDA. Yeah, we barely live in a country with the FDA. Come on. It's like salmonella every other day. It's a food additive at this point. Um, We learned that 
the internet it will take anything and get way too serious about it. it particularly, the internet can make its own money. The Does internet that frighten you? <laughs> no, actually, it just fucking 4chan shouldn't be able to have its own. <laughs> The internet should not be able to create money. Do you understand what the fucking internet is? <laughs> it's the Wild West on meth. <laughs> this is not a society that should have its own currency. No. No, it should not. But it does. We learned tonight that there are many reasons to threaten bodily harm, but a skateboard and the cost of it, which is not one of them. Or... Or cuddling. That's not going to make them cuddle no, you. No, it's it's knives and cuddling not compatible. I mean, they don't work together. I mean, you know, there's the whole S&M thing, and I'm certainly not going to judge your life choices. And some people like that. And some people like a good beating and then cuddle. Oh, crap. But, but it's got to be in context, you know, like you got to you got to both be on board with the beating. And the, then the, the, the chat room is talking about making their own currency for RDA. I, I'm am I'm amazed. It'd probably be be like seeing money that sets worth negatives. I don't even know what you would trade. Dignity. We learned tonight that um, playing make believe. Great when you're a kid, not so good when you're grown up. Okay. At least, you know, if you want to play cop, the cop isn't going to play robber. No, no. Choose your playmates wisely. And it's not like a superhero team up either. It's not like, you know, Superman and Batman and shit. No, 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 no. You're the bad guy. And finally yeah, tonight. It's not going to work out for everybody. Finally tonight, we learned that uh, they take that bingo shit seriously, so keep your pants on. Do not fuck with the bingo bitches. Don't fuck with the bingo bitches, especially if nudity and your penis is involved, because you're going to lose something that you bingo might want later. Use it to stay alive long enough to play another round of bingo. I'm convinced I saw Voldemort in that bingo hall. And you just came up with the plot line for a new Sam Raimi film. There is some dark fucking magic going on. So that was that was the last what the fuck is wrong with you of 2013. Fuck this year. God damn. Fuck this year. I'm I'm so glad we're seeing the hind end of this. Although we did end on a pretty epic note with that story. We did. Fifteen guys. Meth is stick. And <laughs> meth is amazing. We should start doing meth. No. Remember a few months ago when I said that I could not possibly understand why people would do meth? And now I'm like, we should start doing meth. That's <laughs> how bad this year was. That's how bad. <laughs> Hey, if it was good enough for Johnny Cash, it's good enough for us. 